YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, this is Stranger Palooza, and we are, if you can't tell from that face right behind me, we are, yeah, look at it right there. We are at Sunshine State RVs, and today we're looking at an American coach, Nick. We are. Brand new. All new, brand new. 2024, from the future. Are we in 2024 yet? <laughs> no. No, we're in 2023. So, so this is a 2024 American Coach Patriot. Eco Freedom. Yeah. 144 Eco chassis to the 19 footer. Okay, FD2. Uh, what does that mean? I have no I, idea. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't it know what it means. It means it's cool. Yeah, but this is the FD2 and it has a lot of new upgrades. So, oh, this is the actual prototype. So yeah. this is the first one, the prototype, that has everything new that American Coach is gonna offer in 2024. We got our hands on it because of my friend Hank, and we're gonna go through the whole coach. The new air Well, and Ron, Ron helped us out a little bit. Ron, Ron from help. America, a little bit. But your camera a little helps bit. a little too. Yeah. <laughs> and then my loud yeah. mouth. So your camera, my loud mouth, and Ron, yeah. Ron being the one that made this. Right, and the cool thing about it is everyone knows the new Sprinter vans are coming out. They are, they're coming out. Right, now this is not the new Sprinter van. It is not. But when these actually hit the streets, they will be on the new, on, yeah. on the new Sprinter chassis. So yes. if you want to get a preview of what the new chassis is going to look like, the new Sprinter van is going to look like when it's built by American Coach, we'll we're be, about to do it. We'll be the first ones. Yeah, we let's are. get all into it right now. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick break here to show you all these t-shirts that we're selling and uh here i'll go to lola's okay. right here all lola, right you be the supermodel for i'll this. try my best so let's see if folks know what that says van no -sor. that's what it is vanosaur like connoisseur there you go for anyone who's wondering these are if you want to support us this is a great way to support us we have these vanosaur t-shirts and you can actually buy them right here on the YouTube channel. Right. There's a like a little thing going there. What is that? It's a um, scroll on the bottom of each yeah. video, as well as if you go to the home page, there's a merch tab or merch store that you can click on. Yep. And you can get these cool shirts and support us. We're gonna do different designs. I think you have stickers and different things on right. the store right now. Currently, these are available on the sticker as stickers, on mugs, camp mugs, uh, water bottles. I think hats. Right, absolutely. So that's a great way to support the two of us. So if you want to support us, go there and check that out. And then one of the cool things about it that, you know, if you notice, there's no Stranger Palooza anywhere on it. So you don't have to advertise us, but you can support us, I think. Agreed. And you this know? first design is actually the Ford Transit camper van. Yes. So that is, uh, once again, I'm going to use this one is. <laughs> as the model. So yeah, that is a Ford Transit camper van, which my, which is right there. That's yep. ours that you see right behind us there. And then actually, uh, we've got some friends over there. So if you're a fan of the Ford Transit or just van life altogether, this is a cool shirt that you can get. It's kind of like a a conversation starter because people are going to want to know what does it say exactly <laughs> all right and we're going to do more of them okay so that's it thanks so much for listening all right nicodemus yes sir what's up man what is up yeah so first of all that is a beautiful color it's pebble gray so this is the first one that i've gotten from american coach as pebble gray yeah usually you get white silver gray dark yeah. gray and, and it's Sprinter like Sprinter makes pebble gray but we they never do see these you know the before. the winnebago the revel is built on the on the pebble gray yeah i think it's a sharp color yeah. but with this one here i think it's sharp i think it's yeah. really it kind of looks like a desert storm yeah, stormtrooper yeah, type kinda thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a sandy kind of. It's really, yeah. really nice. And I really like this, man. This gives me vibes of when I was a kid, uh, growing up in the '80s. Look at that. You used to wear one stall. of those around your neck, didn't I you? I wish I, I wish I did. <laughs> Yeah, only the cool around your neck, like Flavor Flav. I wasn't cool in the '80s then. Flavor Flav. <laughs> Actually, I was a little cool. I was a little Probably cool. cooler than you are now. So I'll throw in a picture here. Let me do this. Oh jeez. I'm already interrupting. Oh, I will throw a picture in here of me in the 80s in the 80s let's see if he could handle this okay. oh man that's me in the 80s there's one <laughs> there's an oh look at there that there we go that's all right 80s. check that yes, out yes i like the black <laughs> look at that no shirt that's too much oh, that's too Lord. much for you, you show them. <laughs> i'll show you guys i'll roll those in there when i'm go. doing Woo. this in the 80s i like it i, like know, it. I was kind of the man it's still in there somewhere there's a whole nother dude whole nother added dude. to that you dude now all right cool okay we digress. We did. So, yes. 2024 mm -hmm. RV, American yeah. Coach Patriot. This is the Eco Freedom. So, yeah. Eco Freedom means there's no propane anywhere on the coach. 
it is the full 1080 lithium package so what's 1080 mean mm -hmm. 1080 amp hours of lithium batteries that can run everything in the coach the last test they did on this one was 11 hours straight with with nothing else they did a test 11 hours with air conditioner lights fridge everything on for 11 hours that's pretty good i don't sleep 11 hours do you uh no right i would so, like to uh, but no never get to yeah. 11 hours mm -hmm. on the lithium and then this is the the new lithium system that they just came out with has the second alternator as well mm -hmm. has like 300 plus watts of solar has yeah. the big 3000 watt inverter so lots of new yeah. lithium it's interesting. stuff they were not doing the second alternator they were before. not they, they were, were not, not doing the underhood okay. generator so all coachman was mm -hmm. winnebago road check they were the only ones that weren't so now okay. with their new 1080 package right. they have the, the second alternator underhood generator a bunch of solar big inverter 1080 amp hours of lithium yeah. batteries that's yeah. insane yeah we'll show it to you guys it's battle born batteries under there there are so. there are so great company made mm -hmm. in the usa uh, great yeah. warranty and all that but yeah. what's really cool are the things we're going to go over so that's part of it yeah. but but just just this whole upgrade so 2021 22 23 a lot of the companies kind of stayed the same because we're mm -hmm. in the middle of the covid stuff mm -hmm. and so the the supply was really low and the demand was really high right. so there really was no chance to like really improve the coaches because they're just they they couldn't keep yeah. up everyone was buying they, them everyone was buying them and they yeah, couldn't keep they up they in, couldn't yeah. get chips they couldn't get you yeah. know whatever it is they needed I mean, there's just shortages on everything. So now yeah. that's kind of coming to a halt and things are things are kind of getting streamlined yeah. again. So now a lot of these companies are, are going, not back to the drawing board, but they're seeing what they got yeah. and they're listening to their customers. Yeah. So like some of the great companies, American Coach, mm -hmm. Coachman, they're really listening to their customers, Road Trek, and they're, and they're making some changes yeah. based, based upon on the feedback. Based people. on the feedback. And we saw that we did the, um, by, I don't know if by the time this video goes up, we'll have footage of that, but the Mad About You rally, yeah. there were a lot of owners of American Coach yep. Midwest Automotive, and they had all these suggestions and ideas and upgrades that they did to their vans. Yeah. And, uh, and so there's a guy there named Matt who had a, the Punisher RV, I called it, because it had yes. the Punisher logo. <laughs> a couple of the things he did in yeah. his coach, right. Midwest, put in this one because yeah. it was such a good idea. So right. so there are so they are listening. They yeah. are listening. There were some cool co there were some cool the good manufacturers good are listening to yeah. to what people are saying. Yeah. Uh, which is cool. So this is a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, 19 mm -hmm. foot chassis. So there's three Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Mm -hmm. 19 foot's the smallest. 22 foot and 24 foot two inches mm -hmm. so there's three this is the smallest of the three yep um You're this, 144 144 this one does have the high performance led headlights as you yep. can tell by that nice fancy line right yep. there um this one Looks also beautiful this one also has the upgraded front spoiler yep. from american coach it has these sensors here so as you're getting close to whatever it is you're getting close to mm -hmm. that will beep yeah Mercedes, the Sprinter is the most beautifulest. The most beautifulest. Yes, the most beautifulest. Um, it, still, it still holds the record for that, so there you go. So uh -huh. something very cool that American Coach is doing in these, they're offering some new wheels. Yep. So not just the off-road wheels, but these are the mm -hmm. new wheels that they're offering for the 2024. Those are GFX. They GFX. look good. I'm not, I don't know if I've seen those before. I think I've heard of that company before. I have not. The whole wheel combo here looks good. Yeah, I think it's sharp. I yeah. think the color's sharp. I think the wheels are sharp. I like how they have the big, this big black window down the side. Kind of yeah. gives it that elegant mm -hmm. um, look. That's um, from the limo history. That is. The thing that of, is. Uh, um, American Coach. Yep. So yeah, I mean American Coach does limos for like Shaq and Steph Curry. Steph mm -hmm. Curry's agent called me the other day wanting a limo for him. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. He did, nice. he bought his last limo yeah. from from Midwest. I've seen big YouTubers. There's a YouTube video with I can't remember the name of the kid. But there's this big YouTube kid that actually went and bought an American coach. Really? Yeah, he didn't get it from you. Oh. He should have gotten it from you, man. The video would have been bigger. I wouldn't have done a video with him. I only do videos with you, Hank. Oh, okay, good, good. I'm glad you know this. <laughs> it's not so, really true, but so, okay. <laughs> so what I like, what I like is this is body colored. Yeah. It is it is here. It's hidden if you don't know what you're looking for. Yep. But if you do know what you're looking for, it's there. What's cool is everything is here. So all of the RV functions for the coach is all in one spot. This is not new for 24, but we'll just kind of go through real quick and show you yeah. kind of how this works. This is a quick connect. Mm -hmm. It just connects right there, hot and cold water, mm -hmm. hot and cold. And then this is where you have your black valve, gray valve, 
this this whole reel here kind of comes out you press a button and it sucks it right back in this is a macerator model mm -hmm. which is what all of the mercedes american coaches are macerator models which is really nice yeah this is also where you hook your cable up this is where you flush your black tank and your gray tank all in one area. Okay, and then it's you just so switch between city and fresh water. Switch between city and fresh, just like yeah. that. Right. Um, so if you are plugged in, you can use city water. Yeah. If you just want to live off the grid, mm -hmm. and you can use uh, your your tank. What so like, if you're in a national forest somewhere, mm -hmm. and oh my god, get this in there a little better. If you're in a national forest somewhere, and you want to do, and you want to use. Yeah, you might the, uh, have to take a break. Hold on. I could tell you, sir, you do not have enough room over here. <laughs> you need true, you sir. need to expand. You well, need some are. room. We, we're building a new dealership. We got all our permits. We're on the, oh, cool. starting right now. All right. Make sure I have a parking spot over there. And an office? D no, no, no. No. No office. Just a parking spot. Okay. I don't need the office, man. Then you're gonna want me to be there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So all right. where were you? So just you know, when you're off the grid and you want to use your 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 fresh water mm -hmm. from the tanks that you have on board, you can do that. If mm -hmm. not, you can use city. So anyways, everything's yeah. there. Yep. There's no propane, so there's no propane fill. Very nice. The heater, everything's electric. The air conditioner, the hot water, mm -hmm. everything in this coach is electric. That's what this stands for. That's what the freedom stands for. Freedom. What is yeah. Mel Gibson in, uh, what's that, Braveheart? Freedom! Or, is that him? Uh, did you ever see Amistad, Give Us Us Free? You ever saw that? No. You remember that line? I don't remember that there line. You go. Okay. Um, give Us Us Freedom. Give Us Us Freedom. <laughs> right. This is where you plug in your uh, 110. Right, okay. So cool. let's get to one of the cool, so the wheels are uh, something really cool for 24. Mm -hmm. This is a new color. For mm -hmm. 24, right? Right. There's a couple really cool things back here. We'll start getting into some of the new stuff. Oh, I can that see are it already. Only, only <laughs> in the 24. So yeah. we got the wheels. Uh -huh. We got the new color. We talked about the 1080 amp hours, the second alternator. Yeah. We let's, talked about all that. Can I show that since we're back here? Sure, show yeah, that. Let's go underneath. I can show you guys down here. So that is the. the so you, now you see this uh, this big black box that you guys can see there. That's where the batteries are in. And it's no lower than it was before. It's just there's yeah. no batteries in it. So yeah, those have the, uh, they're Firefly, but basically uh, Battleborn. Correct. Battleborn yeah. batteries, great warranty, made mm -hmm. in the USA. Well, I tell you, we've sold hundreds of RVs that have these batteries in them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've ever replaced one. I mean, just yeah. pretty phenomenal okay. service from them. Um, yeah. Okay, so 1,080 amp hours, second yes. alternator, whole yes. new lithium system. The next thing. You see this pass-through storage right here? That's awesome. This is brand new So this is from storage. the recommendations of the uh, users and owners, right? It is, Obviously. it is. I think the guy, the uh, Punisher's RV was the one who actually did this first. Yeah. So you got pass-through storage yeah. that goes all the way through there, through here. There's no wasted space. Yep. So if you want to keep it closed there and just access half of it from back here, you can. Yep. And if you want to just access it from the front, you can. So yep. I think this, this gives you a lot yep. of versatility here. And like you said, this is a prototype, so someone's going to ask about a net up here. There will be yeah, a net. A net. On the, the, but what's cool the, is, yeah. I mean, this thing fits perfect. Look how big this thing is. So this is how deep that storage is. Yeah. I mean, that's deep. Yeah, we'll show it from inside, too. We will, but it's like, yeah. you know, you can put all kinds of cool stuff up there. So yeah. that's a cool thing for 2024. Yep. Something else is they've really upgraded their sound system. So mm -hmm. this is a JL Audio. There is a subwoofer uh, in here. Yeah. There's an amplifier. Right. There's Look JL that. Audio speakers all Would throughout the coach. Yeah. There's also a head unit. So what's mm -hmm. cool is you take your phone and you can connect to Bluetooth from your phone to this system. Mm -hmm. So really neat. So you just play music, you can play audiobooks, you yeah. can you can listen you to you can listen to the new Stranger Palooza podcast that's about to come out. Yes, that's right. Is that yeah, true? Do you yeah. have a podcast coming it out? Is. It's going to be called the uh, Va Vanasaur podcast. The Vanasaur. You're going to you're podcast. going to be on the, you're going to be on the first episode oh, since you're since you're, you know, we're brand ambassadors for yep, you. You're yep. helping us sponsor the channel, all yeah. that. You get to be the first guest. Oh man. And then you have to be on every week after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <getting> sick. <laughs> yeah, I knew that's where Nick was gonna get out. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm good for the first week. <laughs> no, you do. Hold let's, on, you gotta do more than one week. Let's let's more find some more week. interesting people. Let's get Nick Recchio on there. Let's right, get right, Ron right. Preston Absolutely. from Midwest. Yeah. Let's get the Punisher guy. Yeah. Who came up with some of these ideas? Yeah, we'll get him on. He has 36 cameras in his RV. Yep. 
We'll find out what he does for a living. <laughs> so, uh -huh. the yeah. the new speakers here. So we got speakers, we got amplifier, we got JL audios yeah. everywhere, and a JL head unit, Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So that's a new upgrade for 2024. Yeah. The storage is a new upgrade. From my understanding, American Coach was always doing stuff with JL audio, yeah. but they didn't have everything integrated Correct. with JL. So now. They're gonna have well. They didn't have any of this stuff, so there's no yeah. amp. There's there was so no it's amp. Be there's all no JL sub. audio now, yeah. right? No cross mixing of different mm -mm. products. No, it'll all one, be the same two, three, audio product. Yeah, four. There's like five speakers. There's a sub. There's the yeah. head unit. I mean, really, really cool. That's cool. Yeah, I That's like it. That's a good thing. I think it's a great. And then here yeah. you see your seat belts. You got three seat belts right. on that couch. So this thing has five seat belts okay. in a 19 foot RV. Mm -hmm. Very five. cool. Very yeah. cool. Oh, these Very are new impressive. here. I don't think they were doing this before. Oh. I don't think they were doing these nets here. That's also from the users group. Is it? I think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no clue. Yeah. You guys will have to look at I actually go look at some of the users uh, stuff. It'll eventually get up there, Nick, uh, probably before this year is over. What's maybe. that? Oh, uh, that video. Oh, <laughs> of, of, of the rally? Yeah. The, the Mad Ma About You rally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get up Dude, at some point. Carl does a great job with that Mad About You rally. Oh, Carl yeah. does a great job. Yeah, Carl has too much energy. He has a lot. He yeah. he invited me and my family out to his uh, ranch in Wyoming or somewhere. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've yeah. been watching Yellowstone, and I'm like, Mary, we are going to do that. She kind of <laughs> gave me that look. Like, can we go watch people do that? I think you need to make sure you do, get on a workout regimen first <laughs> when you get up there. Because um, Carl's going to have you running. Carl's going to be working. <laughs> yes. So, nice big screen door. This yep. is the same. This is not um, anything different yep. from 24. But mm -hmm. I always like their screen door. Yeah. It just gives you lots of privacy. If you have pets, if you just want you know, yep. some fresh air in there, really nice. So, I like these colors a lot. So, Ah, oh, here we go. Another color. This is 2024. This is all new. What is this? This is a new color. This is called a Walnut Denali. Okay. So they used to have Walnut Burl, mm -hmm. which was like a like a bright brown. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It kind of reminded me of like it's when I was a kid, I, yeah. I saw Donald Trump in a private jet. Right. And yeah. it was like that bright yeah, brown. Trump won. Trump won looking <laughs> that, that like bright brown. This is a more stuff. matte finish. This is this is subdued. this is a matte yeah, finish. Sophisticated. And it's a little darker and yeah. I like I like the darker colors. Yeah, hopefully that's coming out for you guys. I like I like the floor in here as well. Now wait, before you go in, you yeah. gotta do something on the outside. What's that? We gotta do this. I know you you're forgetting this, but I gotta show I you. We gotta walk back around this way. Yep. Walk back around this way. Yep. So on here, you see up there on the roof? Oh yeah. You see those things? Up that, there on the roof. That helps you track tornadoes. <laughs> no, so, no, it so when you're on the storm chaser team, no. No, okay. Twister the movie. I remember being traumatized by that when I was a kid. Oh yeah, the flying cow. The flying cow and all the stuff in the air. Yeah. That's what that looks like to me. It looks yeah. like I'm tracking tornadoes. Yeah, Universal used to have so let me just show everyone. So what these actually are up there, so up on the roof there's vents. We're gonna show the bathroom. Right. And um, so there's vents up there, right, to vent everything out of the bathroom. So but the it. wind can come and go down that vent and oh, help create. The, so, so here's what happens. Oh. So if you're not into RVs, if, you've, if you have one of these vans, you probably dealt with it before, there's always a vent up top and, um, you know, it helps to vent the air and stuff like that out. But if you have wind, it'll actually push it back down, back into the van, oh. and you'll get some smells in there you don't want. So the users, these things are out there, I can't remember the name of them, but the users were putting that on their vans, huh. because when the wind hits that, it turns a different way. So the air can't go back down. Yeah, it closes it off, the air doesn't go down. Wow. American Coach is actually putting that on the vent. Pretty fancy. Yeah. It's a small thing, but a big deal, I think. I thought they were tornado yeah. uh, chasers. No, they're not. Tor no. I, I bet you they can be tornado chasers. If those things are spinning around real fast, you, you need tornado. to get cover. See, I told you. It could be your warning <laughs> You need device. to get cover. But that's really cool that you don't have to, because that's a problem that you'll, you'll find out about when you own any kind of RV, to be honest with you. Um, it's like at your house. Your house is venting stuff. So there you go. Cool. You're welcome, Nick. I learn something new every day. You're welcome. What's that, Reading Rainbow? Yeah, yeah. Reading yeah. Rainbow. Yeah, LeVar Burton. Yes, I like him. Yeah. So, you know, Mercedes chassis, I mentioned the LED headlights. Yeah. Some of the cool stuff are the power and heated seats. Mm -hmm. You got the push button, mm -hmm. closed door. You got, yeah. you know, keyless starts. Just a lot of cool things. You know, something else that I really love that American Coach does, mm -hmm. they really dress up the front of the cab 
of the van, not just the RV part. So they're taking mm -hmm. apart the door, they're taking apart these pillars here, and they're doing a lot. The yeah. ceiling here, hey, yeah. show them that. I mean, let I me mean, look how yeah, cool that that's is. That's really nice. Yeah, and it, and it matches the front matches the whole so RV. So it makes this look like a Mercedes, right? Correct. If you have a Mercedes super, or any kind of gear. Super high end. Vehicle. I drive a minivan, so I don't, I don't, I'm not right, used to right, these right, fancy right. things. I'm going to show people your minivan. You keep going on. I'm going to show them this minivan that sure. you have. Um, yeah. So lots right. of, lots of cool Mercedes upgrades up here. So you got the uh, adaptive cruise, push button start. And what else is pretty neat? Uh, American Coach is the only one that does this. They give you yeah. a separate Firefly in the front. Yeah, so the driver awesome. has access to lights being on and off to the yeah, internet. Yeah, you don't have to pull out your phone. Tank and heaters, and air conditioner. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. It all seems, I, I wish more people would do that. Now, while we're here up front, we should talk a little bit about the new chassis that's coming out, right? Yeah. It's really I, not going to be a lot of differences so in terms of the interior. I, I have not seen one mm -hmm. personally. Um, what I've been told is that this is all going to look the same. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest difference is going to be all-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive. Okay. And it's going to be a four-cylinder engine and, and a turbo diesel and not the six-cylinder they have now. Okay. So all, all of them that you're going to be ordering going to be the all-wheel drive ones or are they going to be some two? two there, there'll ones? be some two-wheel drives. Okay. There'll be some all-wheel uh, all drives. Mm -hmm. But but there are no more four-wheel drives. You don't ever nope. press a button right. and now it's in four-wheel drive. Okay. What it does is it kicks in when it's needed type thing. Okay. Yeah. So all the time, all wheel drive. Just like your I transit. Like yeah. Just like, like your that. transit. You don't do anything. Yeah. If the tires start spinning, they all four kick in yeah. and help you out of your situation. Right. Makes it easier to drive every day. Everyday driving, not just like bad weather but, or anything. But like so that. a lot of people ask me this question. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not four wheel drive, is it still going to have the extra clearance okay. to, to be lifted? And it is. It is. It is. Okay. So it is going to have the same clearance as a current four yeah. wheel drive Sprinter, even though it's an all wheel drive. Because like in your transit. Mm -hmm. The all-wheel drive and two-wheel drive have, have the same clearance. There's there's no difference in clearance. Oh, okay. But in the Sprinter, the two-wheel drive will be here, and the all-wheel drive will be like three inches higher. Okay. So that way there is that added clearance to to the all-wheel drive chassis. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I think that, that you know, people out there would appreciate that. Yeah. And, and one of the things Mercedes... I wish I had more information, yeah. I you know, but I've been promised by by all of our manufacturers that as soon as they start building, they're going to send us one. Yeah. And we'll do a video. But I think that from what I hear, I've looked at a lot of videos of this from Mercedes. They say the Sprinter vans are going to be the same inside. Yeah. So you can use all the accessories if you want to buy accessories and stuff like that. Can you still use sea yeah. suckers on On network? anything, as long as you have a non-porous surface. Oh, Nick. My yeah. arm isn't porous. Can I put a sea sucker on my arm? No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, How about your my arm forehead? is definitely porous. How about my forehead? Oh, that for sure. <laughs> That's super porous. Can I put one on my kid's back and just drag him <laughs> yeah. around with it? Okay. Um, now you're getting ridiculous. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so uh, I mentioned the new mm -hmm. colors. So you can really see here. Yeah. It's it's a uh, really nice. I was not the biggest fan of that walnut burl they had, which was that like, mm -hmm. you know, like bright brown. Shiny. This this is this is not shiny. This is much deeper. Yeah. Um, I really like this it. Looks great. And this like is cool. Waterfall. So there's also a glass yeah. shower door. So this is an option. Right. Um, it's not an option that I get all the time. Right. But being this is a prototype, Ron Ron wanted. I to... love this, man. Everyone should get who, this. Who wants this to watch called... you be in the bathroom, man? The water. No, people can't see you. Go uh, in there. Let's see if we can see you. A hundred percent, you can see. We me. can't see you. We can't see. You. We can't see your your. See, look at that. We can hardly see. We can hardly see you. <laughs> yeah, we can. How many fingers am I holding up? How many? Right now, too. <laughs> See? I told you. <laughs> but no one's looking at you. This is I'm awesome. Just saying. This lets a lot of light in. It looks really good. I like it. I like it. I know it's not for everyone. Not for everyone. Yeah. Okay. See, look, I can saw. Oh, yeah, you can see everything. What are you talking about? I was about to get undressed in there. See if you can see me. Now all of a sudden you're shy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Nice double door bathroom. Yeah. Oh, this is something else that's new. You ready for this? Yeah, we have the on, color. Let me, let me come in here. We got the color, the color of the outside, color of the cabinetry, 1,000 amp hour, 1,080 amp hour lithium, underhood mm -hmm. generator, rear storage, J JL sound system. So now you have a bigger countertop. Mm -hmm. Also pretty cool. Check this out. There's an LED strip in the countertop. How cool is that? Yeah, and uh, I heard that you can actually program this to almost any color. Yeah, I'm trying to find the little remote thing. I probably should have found that before we started yeah. the video, Hank. 
So yeah, so the LED lights here can change mm -hmm. colors. There's also LED lights in the coach that you can control mm -hmm. with an app on your phone. So it's pretty cool how you can kind of change the colors. Like in the in the windows, there's there's LED strip, and then from from an app on your phone, you can control the brightness and the colors and all that. Mm -hmm. Something else pretty cool that Midwest American Coach does mm -hmm. is is this owner's manual. Nobody is doing an owner's manual like this anymore. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just doing something. Yeah, online. I like the fact that there's pictures in there, Nick. Some pictures, pictures, information, <laughs> all of that. So pretty cool, actually. Yeah. A guy who bought an RV from us mm -hmm. noticed they didn't have an owner's manual, so he reached out to Ron at, uh -huh. at American Coach and said, Ron, we got to get an owner's manual going. And so mm -hmm. they contracted him, an owner, an actual owner of the RV, yep. made this owner's manual for him. Yeah. So how cool Man, is that? the owners des deserve like a gold star hey, in this video. And, and the difference between a good company and one that cares about, you know, really what they want a good company and one that just kind of makes what they want to make mm -hmm. is they actually listen to their owners. They mm -hmm. listen to the people that use the RV and they and they take advice. I know American Coach definitely does that. Coachman definitely does it. Yeah. You know, Road Trek, Winnebago, a lot of these companies yeah. that, that we deal with. I'm actually downloading the app right now to control the LED lights in here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Did so, you want to look in here in the bathroom? I, I thought we did. Didn't you see me no, going there? No. Oh, we just okay. talked about the waterfall Jump shower there, and how it awesome it was. So very nice bathroom. I like these uh, lights. This little halo light around the fan. And that, oh, that's something that's pretty new too. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I like that. There's two lights in here. Um, a nice usable sink in here. This is going to be where your shower head's going to go. That is your shower wand right there. And you can move that around, of course, the toilet. Isn't that light on that fan pretty cool? Yeah. Bright as can be. Yeah. So check this out. Look what color it is now. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at, oh, look at you. Okay. Is that yeah. too fast? No, you're doing good. Look at that. It fades. <laughs> this is the four color fade. Man, you could have it. They used going. to be a dance when I was in high school, the four color fade. Oh, okay. No. Cool. Are we going to get pictures? No. Yes, we're getting pictures. I'm in witness protection. I am going to be demanding these pictures from you as soon as so we look, finish this. So look. So back here, you see the green? Yeah. It's the white? Changing. Yeah. The That's red. Cool. That is nice. I this like is, that. This is the red light district back here. So pretty cool how yeah. it does that so that's something that's new for 24 lg smart tv a 24 inch here which is nice mm -hmm. and then what's cool is these come with an internet router so when you're on the road and you're trying to work or you're trying to watch tv there's an internet router built into the rv where where you can actually have it streaming internet everywhere you're at mm -hmm. so you can have t-mobile verizon at&t you have multiple ones in mm -hmm. the coach at all times so you can connect your smart tv to it you can connect your firefly to it in mm -hmm. your laptops your ipad your apple tv that also comes included everything can be connected to that to that internet there so, so that way you have netflix everywhere you're at no matter yeah, what yeah i think that's really cool now this, obviously there's a bunch of cabinets in here i didn't are. really show the cabinets here we can uh get grab a quick look here of all the cabinet tree that you have going on so uh, so there one of the go. cool things that we have not addressed, and it's mm -hmm. one of the biggest changes. Cabinet. And the, wait, this cabinet here too, we got to show people from this side. Oh, that's true. This is the cabinet we were looking at outside that goes all the way through, and that's actually your power cable. Right one, there we're talking about. All right, Nick, sorry about that. One of the biggest changes. Yep. It's, for this 2024. I got to back up. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it is the Gree air conditioner. Yeah, there's a new... AC in this. There's thing. a brand new. This is a 110 air conditioner. Mm -hmm. It's 15,000 BTUs, so it's more than your typical 13,500. Oh, okay. um, I've used it. It's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Typically, air air conditioners blow out air that's 20 degrees cooler mm -hmm. than than where they're at. This one blows out 25 degree cooler air, which okay. is really nice. All right. Uh, American Coach did a test, and it ran for over 11 hours on the lithium batteries with the fridge on with lights on all that over 11 hours okay that's cool and pretty this insane has, um, this has dehumidifying this has a built-in dehumidifier okay. it has the uh a turbo section so you can press turbo and it just mm -hmm. blows like crazy or you can go to like a night mode also oh, cool. um there there is there are vents everywhere so there's a vent coming down there's oh, also yeah. vents coming out the front mm -hmm. coming out the back coming out of everywhere are these vents there's two filters which is which is really nice as well so that way you can change these filters out you can clean them there's a remote here so you can control it while you're laying in bed with with a remote 
Hey, it's on right now, and you can barely hear it. It's so quiet. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a quiet, very energy efficient, and I just turned it off. Yeah. Quiet, energy efficient, 15,000 BTU air conditioner, brand new. It is one of the largest air conditioning companies in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and an American coach has an exclusive with them mm -hmm. to where they are the first ones to put these into their class B vans. Okay, that's, so, a, that's a big deal. If people don't yes, realize that out here, is. there have been some problems with ACs. There has been. There you has know, been. Um, a van, you know, van life can be very tough on an AC. <laughs> it can be, especially when you're in Death Valley or you're in Florida, <laughs> yeah, in Florida Gainesville or Trenton too, yeah, or yeah. Miami, wherever yeah. you're at. High humidity. High humidity, <laughs> lots of heat all day long. There's right. no relief. The good thing is they keep getting better. So Coachman just switched over to their Truma. Mm -hmm. American Coach switched over to this Gre air conditioner. Mm -hmm. And I really think that there again, like I said a minute ago, these companies are listening to their owners. They're yeah. listening to the people using the vans. I need a more energy efficient, quieter air conditioner that's going to cool my van down. Yeah. And and I think Coachman, American Coach, got it right. You know, Winnebago mm -hmm. uses a uh, a Coleman NDQ, where Road Trek also uses a Truma. So you know, a few different companies are are using these but american coach is the first to use this and i was out the other day it was 90 degrees when we were in ocala for mm -hmm. that rally and mm -hmm. i was in this coach with this ac on and i gotta tell you it cooled exactly the way i would expect it to mm -hmm. very you good. agree with that yeah yeah absolutely. Fifteen thousand btu most btus are 13.5 on these little yeah. vans so yeah. fifteen thousand btu really nice yeah um i think this is a game changer i think this is something that is going to make a huge difference in in cooling these metal boxes yeah cooling that, them down that, that yeah, some, down the road. some good upgrades i don't know if they if there was one before a single burner and there was there's a single burner, burner. there yeah. this is a double it does yeah, make the countertop a little bigger which is yeah. nice yeah um then let's take a look at the sink here for the folks ah there isn't that nice a nice a nice, nice deep big. rectangle yeah. uh stainless steel sink cool. i like there's this too this thing here oh nice yeah. It comes out and goes, I guess maybe you can do that. <laughs> uh, fridge, and I like that the fridge is covered in that same, uh, what you call this wood? Walnut Denali. Walnut Denali. Oh, where they come oh, um, oh, oh. Obviously, we've got, oh, I closed it. Yep, there you go. So nice that's cool. nice to have that there. Nice and then we've got some, freezer, we've got some drawers in the back as well here. There's a lagoon table right here. Oh, okay. The lagoon table stored in here and put here and you can work back here. You can eat back here. This does fold flat. And so I can even show you real quick. I oh, know yeah. people like to see, look at this, I'm sitting on it, folding it flat. Don't get my scars in the video here, Hank. What? Oh, what happened to you? <laughs> What'd you do? I got blisters from ah. skiing. Isn't that crazy? Oh no! I've never got blisters in my life. I oh. went skiing in uh, Utah last week, and I got blisters. You messed up the legs, man. man. You're gonna this. get. You can't be a Florida man anymore. I can't be a. One like, thing Florida man's gotta have sexy legs. I can't be a leg model. <laughs> so right, real so nice. I can see the JL audio speakers yeah. here. Mm -hmm. I can see the LED lights. This mm -hmm. is really flat. I don't know if they improved that or not. That's flatter than I remember it being. Really? Right? Okay. Well, I lay in these all. How's the cushioning? Great. Okay. Yeah. This is, you know, obviously a 144, not a big van. No, right? 19 but, foot. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why you buy the little ones because because you don't want a big footprint. You don't mm -hmm. want something really big. You want something smaller. You want mm -hmm. something that you can park anywhere, drive in, get 20 miles to the gallon, but still have a bathroom and a shower and a fridge mm -hmm. and a in a gree air conditioner and led lights that fade on and off right and be the envy of the block and jl audio <laughs> sound system i mean listen to this yeah. thing oh uh, we can't we definitely cannot listen oh <laughs> jl audio all kinds of cool yeah. thousand amp hours of lithium batteries who needs a thousand amp hours i do you do i need more really yes now that they've gone to 1080 you need 1200 want, yeah yeah I want 2160 or whatever. 2160. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's go outside you, and wrap this up. Let's go outside and wrap it up. All right. So 
Obviously, like I said, not a big vehicle, 144. No, 19 feet. So, yeah, a lot of... My wife's SUV is like 18 feet, 3 inches. So, yeah. this is not much longer... It's in that category, yeah. ...than, than yeah. a regular pickup or yeah. SUV pickup yeah. truck something. But very cool. Very good looking on the outside. Obviously, it's diesel for anyone who doesn't know. Yes. But really, really good American looking. American Coach does a three-year yeah. warranty, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Yeah. Like I said, you know, the new upgrades, we can kind of recap it. Mm -hmm. This pebble gray, which is a cool color. Mm -hmm. This has the little uh, tornado warning signs right. on top. It has a new green... <laughs> air conditioner right thousand, that is cool 1080 <laughs> amp hours of lithium batteries awesome next 2160 under, 2160 going next. up to 2160 Un under hood generator uh -huh. big inverter the whole new lithium system mm -hmm. this also has the new wheels this has mm -hmm. the new cabinet up top mm -hmm. the led lights inside the jl audio speakers mm -hmm. with the subwoofer it has the light the bigger countertop with the lights on it yeah the dual stove yeah. The, uh, two burner um, induction stove there. Mm -hmm. um, it also has that new color, that walnut Denali color. Which is which really is, nice. Which is really nice. Floor color mm -hmm. kind of matches all that. Yeah. So lots of new changes for 24. Um, I don't know which one's the coolest one. What do you think the coolest? I, I like the air conditioner. I think that's a big one. That's cool. What do you um, think the coolest one is? You know what? I like the, what they've done with the cabinets because I, I always hear from people like, hey, you know, we could do better on the cabinets yeah. and the storage. So I think it's really cool to see them, you know, do it themselves, right? Because, you know, like if it was me doing it, it then it, I, I would start doing it and then Lola would will bring to, it to you to fix, to fix it. it. <laughs> yeah, so I really do like seeing that and yeah. having like that pass through and, yeah, and these guys improving on that. So I agree. I wonder what people think the best yeah. improvement is. Yeah, um, let us know what you think. Yeah. Now, uh, so you said this is a prototype. This is the prototype, but it is for sale. You are selling it. Okay. We are selling it. Okay. This is for sale. This is uh -huh. the only one in the whole galaxy <laughs> right. like this. <laughs> yep. The right only now. one. There's right no other now. one. They did not make yeah. another one of these yet. Oh, they okay. They have not made it. You bought the, the prototype. I bought the prototype, the one that they tested on, yeah. and they got it perfect. Right. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So okay, we bought it. Cool. It's here. You know and why they, mm -hmm. they did it for that Mad About You rally? They, yes. bought it, they wanted to yeah. show their customers. Yep. And then we bought it. So it's here. It's for sale. We would love to deliver it for free anywhere in the galaxy-ish. <laughs> in the galaxy. Country. Right. Continuous yeah. states. There's, the alien, states. there's aliens out there listening. <laughs> I'd like to see that charge. But we so, put on a Tesla. Yeah. Rocket so X. this one, you guys are going to sell it. But then if anyone's ordering, everything yeah. coming in is going to be the new. You can get all-wheel drive. So we have all them in stuff. production okay. right now. We have the okay. all-wheel drive, okay. MD4s, the new chassis. Mm -hmm in production as we speak they'll be here in the next couple months all right so so those those are being built currently right now absolutely yeah. awesome awesome i know you got a meeting yes sir that you're already in trouble with bethany shout I out am. to bethany i'm in trouble <laughs> you are you need to go to that meeting it's a marketing meeting i mean this is marketing this is what we're doing <laughs> absolutely That's another marketing i'm not meeting. in this meeting <laughs> you are not in this meeting. um yeah big shout out to sunshine state rvs make sure you guys get in touch with them if you're looking for this or anything else yeah awesome place to go to obviously lola and i bought from you, you but we're now brand ambassadors just full disclosure yes but we uh we'll be doing a lot of cool stuff for you guys oh we pay you yes to say how yes. good we are yes exactly uh, you know, no. I, I, I would, I would say it anyway. I said oh, it before I got you, paid. Man. Yeah, I said thank it. You, yeah. Even though you just told someone I'm not in the club, well, I have my bought, own club. I have I, my, the Hank Strange you club. You after we started the Sunshine State Elite Club though. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. You bought it before we started. Yeah. yeah. And then we started a week after uh -huh, you bought it. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Go. Correct it. Oh, now you got to go. All right. We are out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one.